Good morning, I'm just making my vanilla latte. It is Monday morning, week four on plan. 10 and a half pounds down so far. I'm really happy with that. All on steps three and four as well. So none of the lower steps for me. This was just to get rid of my Christmas gain and I've done it. So yeah, I'm chuffed a bit. Got my new Primark jumper on and jeans. And actually these jeans were tight, tighter when I tried them on in there, but I've worn them for a day and they've gone loose. So I might even have to get a size smaller. That's annoying. But yeah, I've got my liner check up today to get my next lot of braces and hopefully the last lot. It's taken far too long and I'm done now. So I want it to hurry up. There's 14 trays on this last set and I think I'm gonna have to have more attachments put on. So I'll update you when I get back. Right, my latte's done. I've also got a lovely little treat for you today. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably follow the lovely Georgie. She's known as my chins and I <laughs> on um, Instagram. She's amazing. She's um, gonna be local. So her husband does sort of work all over the south of England basically. And he's gonna be in Southampton today. So she's tagging along and she's gonna come and see me for a coffee. So yeah, I'm really excited. Right, I'm back. Got my new aligners on. Don't know if you can see. So I've got attachments on all the front ones. And I've got 14 trays left. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed that's it. And then once all that's done, they're gonna whiten them for me. They're gonna fit the permanent wire behind top and bottom to keep them in place. Because it's the arch that they really need to keep because my teeth will naturally wanna go back to square. Um, if you look back at some of my old YouTube videos, you'll see what they used to be like. I have had these now for about 18 months, but I've had quite a few gaps. So I'd say we've probably had probably about 14 months active. And the plan was always to be about 18 months, to be honest. It just feels like it's dragged so long because I've had some gaps and there's been teeth that haven't been tracking and stuff. It just feels like it's gone on a long time, but I'm so close now. I'm so close to the end and I can't wait. So yeah. Oh my God, we were just so busy chatting. I didn't come on here with her and she's just gone. She was she only, she was only here like an hour and a half, bless her. So we had a coffee and we just caught up really quickly. Oh, she's so lovely. I'll put some photos on here. She took loads of us with Reese, bless him. So I got to meet a little baby. He's only, oh, he's not very old. He's only like seven months old, I think she said. Yeah, bless him, he's gorgeous. Made me a little bit broody, I have to say. He's such a happy, gorgeous baby. It just makes me want one. I'm not going to, you know, I'm 41 this year. I'm not gonna have any more now, but yeah, he was really lovely. And it's just so nice to catch up with her. So yeah, thanks for coming, Georgie, if you're watching. I doubt she will, because we both had the conversation. <laughs> We had the conversation that we're definitely short content watchers. We don't watch long content. And that's why I always worry, I think, about doing these longer videos, because I feel like they'll bore people. But then I get messages saying, oh my God, I'd watch you for an hour. Like, if you're a long content watcher, then I suppose you do enjoy it. But me and Georgie are like, nah, we like reels. Reels and TikToks. <laughs> Right, so I've gone for these king prawns today. They are the, what make are they? Sainsbury's king prawns, garlic and parsley. For half a pack, they're only 71 calories. So I've done that with some tomato. The wrap's 181, that's a big one. I've got, got my new aligners in. Oh. <laughs> they're always really hard to get out when they're new. <laughs> take them out and then I can enjoy it and then after you finished your food you have to then brush your teeth and put them back in but yeah look, it looks amazing wow these prawns are so good mmm really nice cool look at that sun it's lovely it's really warm I know it's not warm out there but it's just nice sitting in the sun Right, so I've just calculated that wrap. It's 282 calories. So I am gonna have some of the turkey pop squares to take it to 382, which is add that on, or 384. And then my dinner, I'm gonna have, I've got some reduced fat beef burgers. I'm gonna have a burger with a rasher of bacon, like the 
the, the lower fat ones with a cheese slice and I'm gonna have it I think on like a salad with some pickle and like make like a burger bowl. Right, so I've finally got round to making this burger bowl. Um, I'm actually just going to chop it all up and make a bit of a mess. I only made it look nice for the um, for the video. <laughs> but they're the low low fat burgers from Sainsbury's, and I put one of the little cheese slices on top, which were not very high in calories either. And then I used peri peri sauce because um, I didn't have any burger sauce. Oh wow, mmm, that was good. Oh, that was lovely and it was under 400 calories, so I'd have that again. That was really nice. That Piri Piri Mayo is hot though. It's made my lips tingle a little bit. But I'm gonna go and brush my teeth and put my retainer straight back in because I'm gonna be really, really, um, ooh, really, what's that bit of purdy? Yeah, really religious with wearing it, so. Oh, but yeah, try that dinner, that was lovely. Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have my vanilla latte for breakfast. I've been on calls all morning and now I'm just making my lunch. So I'm toasting a bagel thin, which is done. Bagel thin and then I'm gonna use some of the Be Good To Yourself smoked bacon medallions. I'm gonna cook three of those to put into my little bacon bagel. Nice and simple. Bacon bagel. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Delish. Then as a snack, I'm gonna have some of these with some Philadelphia lightest herbs for a quick snack. It comes out 137 calories. I get asked all the time how to reverse weigh or how to weigh your sauces and stuff. So I put it onto the weighing scales first, set it to zero, and then I take scoop out. I can't really do it one-handed. So that's a big teaspoon, that's 17, oh it should be on grams, so 17 grams and I'm going to have 30 grams, so yeah, I get pretty much the same again. And there it is, to dip in, 30 grams of the Philly, Philly Lightus Herbs and just for that, for 30 grams, it is 26 calories and 111 for the rice crackers. So yeah, I'll just get one of them, dip it in the cheese and have it like a bit of like crisp and dip. God, I'm so sorry, yesterday literally just got away with me. Um, I had the shake for breakfast, the bacon bagel for lunch, and then I had the burger bowl again for dinner, and oh my God, it's so nice. Really, really enjoyed that. And I had my bar in the evening. Yeah, enjoyed yesterday. I did a little what I eat in a day for Instagram and TikTok, so I thought they do quite well on there, people like to see. So yeah, sorry I neglected this a little bit, but yeah, today's another busy day. I've got another cold. It's just like never ending. <sighs> yeah, it's really annoying. I don't feel poorly with it, but I do feel quite tired and just like my um, my throat's sore and really dry. And I've got a talk all day, so that's good. Got a plumber coming to service our boiler in a minute. And he's also gonna look at under the sink because we've got a little leak. So yeah, it's always go, go, go. Constant, constant stuff, but I will try and film what I have today. I'm running really late today on my calls. So I've just quickly made a wrap with those king prawns from Sainsbury's, garlic and parsley ones, lettuce and tomato in a wrap. Wolfing it down quick. Right, all done. So that was 287 calories for that wrap because the wrap on its own is 181 calories. So they're quite high, but oh, it's a really filling, lovely lunch. Loads of salad in there. Those garlic prawns are delicious. They're massive king prawns. They're really nice, really high in protein really low in fat <sighs> yeah I feel very satisfied oh pardon me <laughs> I'm gonna have a big pint of water go and brush my teeth and put my braces back in and then I'll probably have a cup of tea this afternoon with my calls and some more water 
school run i'm getting into a habit now of having my dinner early so when we get back from the school run i'm having my main meal quite early with the kids and i'm really enjoying it and it's going really well i don't feel i just feel like i want it after the school run i'm really quite hungry step four is still quite low for me so i am really hungry at that point so i'm having that and then just saving my bar and i'm having my bar sort of between anywhere between sort of seven and eight or sometimes a bit later and then we watch our program at nine and we go to bed at 10. So I've just finished Fooled Me Once. Everyone went on about it on Netflix. So I thought I have to watch it. I think because people bigged it up so much, I was a little bit disappointed. I feel like the other ones that he's made are better. But then saying that the last, the last episode was very, very good. I did love the ending. And if it's got a good ending, yeah, I'm happy. And it was very clever. Really enjoyed that bit. I just didn't think the acting was great in the whole thing, to be honest. It just felt a bit... I don't know. I don't know what it was, but we we weren't really that excited to keep watching it, which surprised me. I thought I was going to love. Yeah. But the last one was good, so. But if you haven't seen, like, if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It's worth a watch. Very good. Very clever. And the first one that the guy, whoever it was that produced it, I can't remember his name now. The first one, The Stranger. Oh, that was amazing. There was a couple. He did some brilliant ones. And because they were, like, the first of that really exciting, like, thriller Docu or not documentary, thriller thing on, no, on Netflix. They're just really cleverly made and the storylines are very good. And there's always a twist and I love a twist. But yeah, so we've just finished that so we need something new now. Any recommendations, please let me know. We just love watching a programme together now at nine. We say to the kids, we're watching a programme, leave us alone. Well, Bethany goes to bed early. Finley doesn't go to bed now really till about 10. He's 12 now. So he does go to bed a bit later. Um, so we don't really get any time together so we sit and watch our program and it just gives us something to like talk about <laughs> and like just enjoy together for a change i'm just going to show you a quick tip of what i do on my fitness pal so i always have the same breakfast so i put that in I've just put my lunch in but what i'll also do is put in my product for later so i have my fruit and nut bar and then i'll try and work out what i'm going to have for dinner that's what i'll do in a minute actually i'll work out what i'm having for dinner put that in and see what i've got left you have to plan guys you can't just wing it really on like these steps you have to prepare and really think about your choices treat your calories like a budget you know if you've got a budget for your shopping or budget for your mortgage and your bills you know it's the same as your calorie budget once it's gone it's gone so use it wisely right so let's see what we got for dinner i'm gonna have a fish cake tonight it's just easy and i love these fish cakes these were the ones that i had the other day the scottish salmon fish cakes with hollandaise sauce and lemon they're really nice so i have one of them i always always have these bags of veg in the fridge because they're just quick and easy 62 calories for the whole bag in the microwave three minutes boom right so i've just put it in i've put the fish cake in with the green veg and mushy peas and actually that brings me to 1167 so that'd be it so i am going to have that i have that after the school run and then save my bar for later do you see what I mean? You can't wing it. Like, I thought I was going to have more calories left than that. I thought I'd have enough for a snack, but I haven't. So you have to work it out beforehand. You have to plan and prep. So now I know that I can't have anything else to eat before the school run. So I'll just have water and tea. Keep myself going until after the school run. Then I'll have that lovely dinner. Mushy peas are like my favourite. So I'll have that with the green veg and the fish cake. That'd be, that'd be enough. That'd be fine. Because there's breadcrumbs on the fish cake as well. So they're a little bit carby. So they're more filling. And then my bar for like an evening pudding. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Good day. Honestly, when will this cold ever go? It's come back again. Um, I've just washed my face and put moisturiser on, which is why I'm so shiny. And I've got a spot thing on because that spot's still there, which is brilliant. But yeah, I'm not feeling great. <sighs> yeah not feeling great at all so another early night so this is the second week now like so many people are ill aren't they at the moment and it's like an ongoing cold that comes and goes i thought i was getting better i thought i was fine and now it's come back but i've been sneezing all day i've got a really dry throat really annoying so yeah fingers crossed i don't feel too poorly tomorrow i've got one more day of calls and then um what have i got friday I've got more meetings Friday actually and then I'll be off at the weekend but yeah it's no excuse to come off plan though being ill you know eating food doesn't actually help <laughs> it just doesn't and I've had a lovely meal tonight and it was so good that dinner was delicious yeah being poorly sucks to be honest 
what I will say though, my top tip, if, if you're poorly on any of the steps, even the lower steps, have the one-to-one -one lem sip. So a one-to-one -one lem sip is a hot water flavoring with a couple of paracetamol. <laughs> so make a nice cup of like hot raspberry and elderflower or hot pink lemonade or hot orange, whatever flavor you want, make it in a mug with hot water and have, and take a couple of paracetamol. Do it every four hours if you need to. It's an on-plan lem sip. It does the same, it does exactly the same. You know, you just need to take away the pain of any sort of, you know, sore throat. You can't have cough sweets, you can't have medicine, you can't have strepsils, you can't have, you know, syrups and cough medicines and things like that when you're on plan. I'm a believer, just a couple of paracetamol does the same. So yeah, if you're on plan and you don't feel well, that's my top tip. Remember the one-to-one -one diet lem sip. <laughs> Morning guys, happy Thursday. I feel rough. <sighs> so bored of being ill. I'm so bored of being ill, but I've just done the school run. Feel a bit shivery, feel a bit rough, keep sneezing. My sinuses hurt, my ears hurt. It's not good. But tonight is a night off for me because every night of the week, Bethany or Finley have like clubs and stuff, but Thursday's the only night I don't have to do anything or go anywhere. So today's my last day of calls. I think I finished about half two do the school run at three, and then when we get back from the school run, I don't have to do anything, <laughs> which is actually really nice. So I'm gonna have like a bit of a pamper night, have a bath, do a hair treatment, because I haven't washed my hair for ages. I did put a bit of makeup on this morning, because I've got a new foundation that I wanted to try out, and it's actually really nice. It's the um, Luminous Silk one. I keep seeing people use it. Really thin, it's not like full, full coverage, but really nice, so yeah. I tried to make myself look a bit better today, but yeah, greasy hair, which is slapped back and hair sprayed. Oh, God, but yeah, still 100% on plan, but God, I wanted to cheat last night. Oh, I had to go to bed because I just wanted to eat. I wanted to eat everything, but I didn't. Oh, honestly, I'm struggling today, guys. Um, quick gap, I've just made a prawn cocktail wrap. Um, I'm gonna quickly have this, and then I've got a few more calls. Right, a quick, a uh, quick preschool run snack. I'm still feeling really rough, so I'm just gonna have this. I had a quick bath and washed my hair, so I, that's made me feel a little bit better, but pfft, not really. Just put everything into my fitness pal, and actually I was gonna have the fish cake again, but I haven't got enough calories for that, because it's 300 just for the fish cake. So instead of the fish cake, I'm going for a lightly dusted cod fillet, which will feel the same, be just as filling, but it's only 189. So I can have that with the mushy peas and veg again, because I wanna use the other, can, other half a can of mushy peas. I'm all for you know using everything up, so I always have the same thing sort of two nights in a row just to use it all up, which is fine. But again, that is that is discipline, you know, to be able to put food in a Tupperware pot and not eat it is quite hard. But I've learnt the art and I'm doing well. So <sighs> I've got that dinner to have, which I am going to have after the school run. I'm going to have a really chilled night because Finley's got football, but Beth hasn't got anything. So we're going to do our spellings and we're going to do some reading with her and stuff and just chill and drink lots of more water and then have my bar and, a, and an early night. I'm definitely going to bed early tonight. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry it's Friday and I haven't been on here much because I've been poorly. Tonight I'm just gonna reheat the fish cake and have it with the packet of tender green medley. Um, and I also had the rice crackers and Philadelphia lightest earlier. I had my shake and I had my bar. It's, it's very samey, but as of Monday, I'm moving up to step five so I can show you some more stuff. Also at the weekend, I'm gonna cook some nice things as well. I might have a pizza one night, but I'm also gonna make like a chicken i've got some of those carb free bare naked noodles which are really good to keep calories down and i'm going to make a bit of a, like a pad thai obviously not with those noodles so i'm just going to use the um the carb free ones but i've got some pad thai sauce and i've got some veg to put in there so i was going to make that at the weekend i thought that'd be quite nice like a little fake away um and it'd be really low calorie so it means i can have more in the day so i will show you this weekend i'm still not feeling 100 percent, but much better um yeah much better While I'm here, I thought I'd show you my new clothes I've got from Primark. So I've got this lovely jumper and these new, you can't see them actually, can you? New flared jeans, they're like wide leg, really high waisted. Um, yeah, they're really nice actually, they're really comfy and they're only like, I think they were like 16 quid, but they're really nice fit. And they're a size 8.
Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm taking Finley today to get a suit for my auntie's wedding. And we're gonna pick one, we're only gonna hire one, because he grows like ridiculously quick. So we're gonna go and have a look and choose one. I think you want, what do you want, Finley? Grey? He wants like a grey checkered one, which would look really nice, wouldn't it? So yeah, he's gonna try on some suits today, bless him. When he was little, like really little, he used to be obsessed with wearing suits. And Father Christmas used to bring him like a new suit every year and he used to wear it on Christmas day. And then he went off it and wanted to wear shorts for about. No, I didn't go with them. You did, you were like, they're too, it's too tight. I can't wear it, I just wanna wear shorts. But he's getting back into it now. Now you're wearing trousers at school. He's wearing like joggers more and like proper track suits. So I think he'll enjoy it today. So yeah, we're gonna go and pick pick that. I've got my, got my shake for breakfast. And then I'll probably come home. We'll get home before lunch, so I'll have lunch at home. Right, we're back. Um, ordered the suit that he wants. Um, he's gone for the, what he wanted, a grey check, and they've got it, and then they said they can tailor it for free, which is good. Um, it just means we're going to have to go back a couple of times, which is really annoying. Um, but I have made an absolutely massive bagel for lunch. And now I'm having the turkey pop squares. I felt absolutely ravenous today. It was a busy morning, and obviously I only had my shake before we left. Look at this boy, he ended up getting a tracksuit as well. Lovely little thing. <laughs> it is nice, actually. He bought it himself. And then I'm gonna get some air forces on between these you two. Saved, you've saved up your money, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm between two. Um, I've uh, um, these grey ones, but my white, my friends have all said grey or these white. So at the moment it's five to nothing. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get the grey. Yeah, a bit peace. <laughs> yeah, a bit y'all. Right, it's mid-afternoon. Bethany's still out at jujitsu. Finney's at his friend's party. I've just had a cup of tea. I'm feeling quite rough still um, and I've just worked out what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm going to have the pad thai, I'm going to make chicken with the bare naked noodles and the sauce like I said about and I've got enough for my rice crackers and my Philadelphia lightest so I'm going to have that now as a snack. I'll have my pad thai for dinner and then I'll have my bar later. Another step four day in the bag. Right so I've got some peri peri chicken in here from Sainsbury's, it's the peri peri sizzlers. And I chop that up with some frozen peppers, frozen onion, some garlic granules and frozen mushrooms. And then I'm going to let that cook. And then these are the noodles that I'm going to use. Bare naked noodles, it's only 15 calories for half a pack. So this whole portion, I'm going to just half it and have it tomorrow as well. But it works out about, I think, 300 and something calories. Yeah, 380 calories for half the portion. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Right, so that's with the veg medley in and the noodles and the pad thai sauce. Just gonna let that cook for a bit longer. And that's it. Right, so that's the two portions. So I'll have that tomorrow. And then this is the one I'm gonna have now. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of sriracha mayo on it. Because actually there's not any heat in it. Only a little bit. nice the noodles I get asked all the time what they taste like we don't actually taste of anything <laughs> so if you put them in to bulk out your meal as long as you've got a nice sauce and like seasoning and stuff they're fine and they're literally so low in calorie no carb hi guys it's Sunday and I have had my vanilla latte for breakfast. Me and Bethany have been out for a walk. I've delivered all of my client slimmer rewards. Um, I send out like little puzzle pieces for each stone that they hit and I was so behind. I had some problems with my suppliers so I hadn't sent them for ages and we had loads to send this morning. So Bethany helped me pack and I put all, all the addresses on, got them all stamped up and we took them to the post office and delivered those earlier. And I have just had a um, ham and salad bagel for lunch with a packet of crisps. I'll show you what I had. I 
Okay, week four done, complete. Two weeks on step three, two weeks on step four, and I have lost this week three pounds. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God. Proof, trust the process, trust the plan, trust me. It always catches up in the end. And actually moving up a step will always result in like a smaller loss or, a, or like a maintain because your body's got to adjust and it has adjusted to step four now. So I got my loss, three pounds. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits, yeah. So that's 13 and a half pounds in a month on step three and step four. I'm chuffed to bits, feel amazing. I've just recorded some content for Instagram. So I'm gonna do a real, like a transition between like day one and day, what are we on today? I don't know, <laughs> week four, <laughs> day 28, I guess. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope I've put it out there that actually the plan isn't just about shakes and soups anymore. It's very different. You know, if you do it properly, if you work, if you work your way up the steps and do the plan properly, there is a chance that you're gonna maintain, well, there's a lot more chance that you're gonna maintain. And then just know that if there is any gain in the future, like I had at Christmas, I actually look back, I was this way, exactly this way in November. So I just, I, I maintain pretty much at all year anyway, but I did jump up at Christmas. A lot of it was water. It dropped straight back down in that first week. And then it's kind of just, because I've carried it on. The key is to carry it on though. You can't just do like a diet for a period of time, get your goal away. Think, oh, I can eat normally again now. You know, your new normal needs to be a bit different and you have to give your body time to adjust. So, you know, that's why I'm moving up the steps slowly afterwards. Yes, I'll lose a few more pounds and I'm okay with that, but it's, it's more about just stabilizing your body and not just rushing into maintenance because a lot of people will do, say for instance, step 1B or step 2, lose loads of weight, you know, four stone in four months, amazing, feel incredible, look incredible, but don't do the steps, don't work up properly, don't rebuild their metabolism back up to their maintenance calories and unfortunately they kind of sat there on the eight, 800 to 1000 calorie metabolism and that's just too low, way too low long term so you have to build it back up. And I'm hoping that all of these videos that I'm doing is showing you that. I've had a lot of abuse, you know, over on TikTok and, oh, it's not healthy to have 1,200, it's not enough. I get that, it's not long term. This is not long term, guys. And if you do it properly, I promise you, you will be freed from the diet cycle, you will. And I'm just producing this content for you guys so you can learn, so I can teach you what I've learned. I know I'll maintain now, you know, I know how to do it. I've got my budget, my calorie budget, and I stick to it, and it's that simple. And actually knowing I've found a plan that is gonna help me never ever be overweight or obese again is like so freeing. It's like a, such a lovely feeling. I want you guys to feel it. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, say, share with your friends, do whatever you need to do, but thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time.